Hello and welcome. We are in 3.6 Synthesis League again. And this time I'm doing uh, tier 13 tower map. This is the loot from all the 100 maps. And then I will explain how I did all of those, what, uh, how much currency I invested and those kind of stuff. So the reason for tower is, uh, probably most of you already know that, uh, there are nurse cards. If you combine eight of them, it turns into a doctor card, that's for the headhunter. So it's an expensive card. There is also uh, the offering. It is the card for Sharon's uh, wrappings. It's very expensive this league because most of the people are playing energy shield builds. So each card is around 40 chaos, I guess. Uh, the nurse is around 70 to 80 chaos. Almost an exalt, but the exalt prices are going up these days. So it's not the case anymore. So let's have a look at the loot. Again, of course, there are lots of jewel orbs, so I had to turn them into fusings. I got very lucky this time, so three exalted. You can maybe dump two, because the profit is very good, and I didn't really expect that much. So you can count this out if you want. You will probably get an exalted in 100 maps anyways. Uh, some animals and divines, and all the other things. These are the cards. This is probably not even worth picking up, but I did anyways. And again, Encroaching Darkness, which you can get from most of the maps. Gamblers. These are probably worthless. Maybe this works a little, but it doesn't really matter compared to the other cards. This is also worthless, but I just, you know, loot everything I can to show you the loot. So these are the juicy ones, the offering. Uh, as far as I know, and all the drops, the offerings I got from the boss itself. So I believe you can't get it from the monsters in the map. You can on, uh, only get it from the boss, as far as I know. The problem about the boss is if you are farming experience, I don't recommend killing it. Because the tower boss is really hard when there is some mods. I have over 5k uh, HP. And with one or two mods, you always get one shot by the boss. So I died a lot. Uh, so it's a very dangerous boss. And I don't recommend it if you are leveling. That's it. But you get this card, of course, sometimes maps, but it doesn't work. The only thing that works is the offering card. So you lose about a couple hundred chaos. So that's your call. And these are the nurse cards. Uh, I believe I was unlucky with the nurse cards because I also have a friend who is doing the same farming method. And he got like seven or eight nurses. So it is possible that you can get more nurse cards. I don't think this is the average. I was just unlucky. But still the profit is very good. And I will share you in a moment, in a minute. And of course Wretched cards. We will turn these in later in the video. Maybe I will get a hunter, but I don't think so. <laughs> and also this card drops. It can also give you a Sharon's wrappings. And we will see that in a minute. And these are the maps. So let's have a look at them. Of course, um, I don't have all the maps here because I had to run them. What I did for starting is I bought around 15 tower maps. And that's it. I didn't buy anything else. I didn't even, you know... Uh, sorry, okay, okay, that's it. Yeah, uh, I only started with 15 maps. And that's it. I didn't buy any more tower maps. The map sustained itself. And these are the rest. There are like, let's see, 12, yeah, 26 maps here. Uh, I'm sorry, 23, 21. Oh, fuck, my math sucks. <laughs> and I started with 15. There are also some here, but these are from the delve and the temple, so I didn't count them. 
let's have a look at the map drops and the um, profit. So these are all the map drops. 14 tier 10s, 41 tier 11s, 40 tier 12s, 113 tier 13s. So all of those were tower, of course. And 3 tier 15s. This is a very rare drop and tier 15 can only drop from the map boss. So again, if you are skipping the boss to farm experience, you are also losing these map drops, but this is not really much and this is a very big RNG to have the boss drop tier 15. So you can count these out if you want. That doesn't really matter. So if I sell everything which you see here, including the cards, of course, and all these maps, I get around more than 3k thousand and uh, 3k chaos earning and this is my spendings for the maps average so the map itself is 7 chaos which makes 700 chaos for the map price and also sextants chisels rolling the map those kind of stuff and this is the profit roughly so again you can count these out which is like 30 chaos or maybe a little more I'm not sure about the price there are 10 to 12 I guess and also I got 3 exalted so this is a little much you will probably get 1 exalt so you can also count these out that makes another 200 chaos let's say 250 so you get still 1400 chaos profit which is very huge uh, because this is a tier 13 map and most of the time you get this kind of profit from running higher maps like tier 15s which I did a lot and the profit is very surprising so before going on how I did my maps I didn't really invest that much actually uh, because it's a tier 13 easy to sustain I only use chisels and roll the map I'm gonna show soon I'm, uh, I first want to share my luck with you probably we won't get anything from these uh, let's also show these I'm not sure there are there's any expensive thing but let's go first these the spring guys and nothing yeah, I'm not sure if there's any anything really expensive in those stuffs let's go for the juicy ones let me dump these okay let's go trash again trash and these guys nope nope mm -mm. nope nope and nope so about the maps how I did them chisel alchemy and roll them about 80% you can keep the 70s with bloodlines nemesis or beyond if you want So these are the maps that I mostly did and if there isn't really juicy thing here like this so no bloodlines, no nemesis, no beyond nothing you can also corrupt it sometimes the map turns into one of these guys so you have to run them without killing the boss of course because you can't complete any 14s uh, uh, by the way yeah that's important I guess I should explain that in case some of you don't know so tier, uh, tower is a tier 13 map so you can't complete any of the other tier 13s which you see that I haven't there is this yellow line if you complete the map so only tower is completed and for tier 14s also you don't complete any of them except race course the reason for this is 
tower isn't a shaped map, so you can't normally sustain it without blocking the way. So what you need to do is get all your orbs from the Zana's quest line. I only have Uber Elder left. So you don't need Uber Elder. You only need to get all the orbs by pushing the influence. Get the 15 orbs. And then you kill Shaper. And then you get the Elder Orb. So you use the Elder Orb on race course. Now that the race course is a tier 16 map, it can't drop anymore as a tier 14. So you can only get tower from running the tower. That's it. So you can complete race course for another 1%. That's what you need to do to sustain the map. And I use two fragments. And if I get the bloodline, uh, the 30% magic monster pack size from the sextant, I also use bloodlines. I never used anything else and I didn't use bloodlines on every map. I only used it when I get the magic monster pack size sextant. Because I'm not really sure that it worth the investment on a tier 13 map because it's very easy to sustain. But if you are farming experience or want to test if it really works or not, you can go for some Zana mods on every map. But that's how I did it. Two fragments and I think that's it. I didn't use any influence, the Elder influence. So if you can corner him around here, maybe. I didn't even test it, so I'm not sure if you can sustain it. Because the position for tower isn't very good compared to my previous experiences. I'm not sure if you can really sustain the elder influence here or maybe here. I don't know. Maybe you have some strongholds blocking the way. It is possible, maybe. These are the strongholds. But I didn't try. So this is the profit without them. If you can do it, of course, you will get more profit. So this is the profit that everyone can do without much investment. Of course you need some money to start, but that applies for every kind of farming, of course. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you think to do this or if you have a better idea. Always share your opinion with me, please. And see you next time.